This is a DSLR and this is a mirrorless camera. And this is what is going on right now. It's a huge deal. The SLR design has been around for decades, if not over a hundred years, depending on how you track it. Companies are pulling out left and right from making DSLRs, saying they'll never make them again. If you ask any photographer in the know today, they'll tell you DSLRs are out. But I actually think DSLRs will never truly go away. And here's why. SLR stands for Single Lens Reflex. The idea being that you can use a mirror in front of the film or sensor in the digital world and put a prism up here to view exactly the image that's coming through the lens. When you take a photo, the mirror slaps up, the shutter moves, the image is recorded, and the mirror returns. That simple idea has existed for over 100 years, with major implementations of these cameras really blowing up in the 1950s and beyond. SLRs solve some huge problems. Rather than looking through an optical viewfinder not attached to the lens and just getting an estimation of what your camera is seeing, what you see is actually what you get. Perhaps understandably then, SLRs became the predominant choice among photographers in mass. For my rangefinder friends here, I should note that that doesn't mean it's everyone's favorite design, just most people. We still love you, weirdos. The digital age added the letter D and these cameras became even more popular as they were commonly seen as the better quality cameras in the early days of digital photography. No matter who you are or your level of photographic experience, you likely know the term DSLR. And even if you don't know what it means, you associate it with professional photography. Still to this day, I hear everywhere in pop culture the term DSLR being used incorrectly to refer to cameras that do not have mirrors at all. Mirrorless cameras as we now call them. And I know what they mean. They mean a more pro level camera. But here's the funny bit. DSLRs have been on their way out for years. Olympus, Panasonic, Fujifilm, and Sigma were some of the first companies that previously made DSLRs to get into mirrorless only starting in 2008 and going all in after 2010. Sony, a company that many see as the mirrorless camera leader in the market today, released their last DSLR, the Sony A99 Mark II in 2016, and then discontinued all DSLRs by 2021. Then of course, there's the big companies like Canon and Nikon. Nikon indicated last year there would be no further development of SLRs, though they would continue making and supporting their beginning level DSLRs. Canon also said that they are done with flagship DSLRs, but indicated that there is a market for beginner DSLRs, so at least for now, are going to continue making those. Is that everyone? Did we talk about all the different camera brands? Oh, right. Pentax. Pentax had some weird mirrorless attempts, and in 2020, they put out a strong commitment to DSLRs over mirrorless cameras, which was really no surprise given their history. This manifesto of sorts argues that looking through your lens with an optical viewfinder has its own set of intangible advantages to the art of photography. While Canon and Nikon are going to continue supporting old beginner level DSLR models, this really makes Pentax the only company committed to developing new DSLR cameras. But Pentax is not the only reason I think DSLRs will never die. There are tens of thousands of used DSLRs on the market that make incredible secondhand cameras. Sure, at some point that supply is going to be exhausted. But as we've seen with many film cameras that are still going strong, it will take a long, long time. And if you buy an old DSLR, there are tons of lenses for them, and you can still get new batteries for these old models, thanks to the sponsor of this video, Wasabi Power. Wasabi Power is a family-owned business based out of California, selling camera batteries since 2008. They have a huge selection, and while every now and then I can't find exactly what I need there, nine times out of 10, they have it. For these great bargain DSLRs you're gonna find, you're not gonna have a problem. It's just the really weird old cameras that I keep getting that I run into issues sometimes. I've been using Wasabi's batteries in my cameras for years now with zero issues, but if you do have an issue, they have a three year warranty on them. Contact them if you have any problems and they will help you get a replacement. It's free shipping on all orders in the United States. And if you use the link in the description and use the coupon code SNAPPINESS, you'll get 10% off your purchase. But more compelling than just the used market, I think DSLRs will never die because the experience of looking through your lens through a prism is a different enough experience to stand the test of time. For example, I don't think many could have predicted decades ago the amount of people now looking for low-tech versions of products, products like dumb phones that can only make phone calls. What a novel idea. Or things like the remarkable tablets or writing tablets that can't load apps or do anything else and just mimic paper. These products are merging low tech with tactile physical experiences to try to boost your creativity, give you more of a connection into the real world, out of this tech saturated world. 
And that's exactly where I think DSLRs are gonna be and the experience they're gonna give to people in the next few decades. Electronic viewfinders and mirrorless cameras are getting really good and they have their own set of perks and advantages. But at the end of the day, it's just another screen to look at. And some people are getting sick of looking at screens. Maybe you don't relate to that, but maybe you do. Photography for me is a hobby, it's a joy, it's a passion, it's a meditation, it's this experience. And I don't mind mirrorless cameras. I don't hate them, I own several of them, but I just don't see a time where I ever give up entirely on my DSLRs. If you wanna pick up a nice used DSLR, then check out this playlist I've made here of all my favorite budget DSLRs I've been using. There's some great ones in there. I'll see you over there in those videos, and until next time, happy snapping.